everybody, Don here again. It's two days after the big storm. Just beautiful looking, isn't it? Well, as you know, I built a, a bushcraft shelter and I finished it up just the day before the big storm. My intention was to camp out in it uh, overnight this weekend. I don't know if I'll be able to find it, but we're going to head out there and see if we can find it. All right. Well, my intention was to sleep out in that shelter this weekend. But when I was shoveling this walkway for Tucker, kind of tweaked my back a little bit. And uh, I don't know if I'm going to spend a night out there. It's supposed to be zero again tonight. It was zero last night. Not sure I want to... Uh, be sleeping out inside till I get my back straightened out. Pulled out the big tub snowshoes, throw those on, and then <laughs> see if we can bust a trail up to the up to the spot. <clears throat> I love these tubs with the quick connect bindings. What do they call these the bear claw bindings? Really easy to get on. We're gonna sink a good 18 inches anyhow. But. If you've never snowshoed, you have no idea how this wears you out. <clears throat> Generally, we find the first snowshoe of the season usually gets us in the hips. And the next day, our legs get a little crampy and our hips ache, but eventually get used to it. But we're usually, our first snowshoe is when there's about a foot of snow, not three and a half feet. Getting near the ledge. This is where I gotta be careful. <laughs> I can see the opening to my shelter. It remained open. That's awesome. All right. Oh, the shelter held up good. Of course, you know you got a lot of a lot of snow that fell. I'm in the snow. I've got it packed down enough.
take the snowshoes off again and get down inside there. Maybe with my phone, I can light it up. You can see I got some steam coming off of me and the phone's wet but my trail comes up around there my fire pits gonna be right there I'm gonna have to dig that out but you can see in here it's uh, yeah pretty good all right, well, I'm tickled to death the way this thing held up to the snow. The plastic that I put along here did the job. But over here, just using hemlock boughs, sod, and leaves, same thing. I mean, the only place the snow came in is right here, and that was to be expected. I mean, you couldn't get away from that unless I would have put some kind of door here. But I'm going to dig this out right now. I'm going to use the rake. I'm trying to get as much of this stuff evened out. I don't think I'm going to spend the night in here tonight just because I tweaked my back shoveling. And I'm not going to, I don't think it's going to be good sleeping on the ground on a pad with my back tweaked. But I'm really happy with the way this thing came out. And I will be, I will be sleeping out here. I think I saw that Monday it might be 40 degrees and it might get a little bit of light rain. That won't hurt us at all. The snow is so thick on it. I mean, it's two feet thick. If anything, it'll just pack it down even stronger, and then it freezes again. This is gonna be impenetrable. I am not at all worried about it collapsing on me. I mean, this thing is structurally very sound. So, bushcraft shelter is, uh, it's a major success. I cannot wait to sleep out here. I'm going to, uh, I'm going to beat down this path a little bit more, and uh, we'll catch you next time. Next time, we're either going to be eating out here or sleeping out here. Peace.